All right, Hockey Night Canada. Toronto and the Boston Bruins. In the garden. And Bobby Orr gets the winning goal in overtime. The Chief with two goals. Sharks and the Sabres. Sabres scoring a lot of goals. Oh, they pumped the Sharks for nothing. Dominic Hasek with the shutout. Gilbert Perot, three points, two goals. Sabres are filling the net. Tempo noon and out for a little bit. All right, next we got the Penguins and the Hartford Whalers. I'm gonna sim through this. Oh, Bobby Holik. I hate that guy. Let's keep her going. Two nothing. Pat Verbeek. I might have to jump in here. Latang scores on the power play. All right, let's jump in. It's two one. They don't have the other Hartford jerseys, the black ones. Those were kind of nice. All right. Down 2-1 to the Hartford Whalers. Halfway through the game. It's a nice way to play the season where you still play with your favorite team, but don't have to play every minute of every game. Just save the rivalries. Castles wins it. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by Castles. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Well, I can definitely the feel these guys' binder. lack of speed. The Penguins take it along the wall. Pass across to Sanderson. Bank pass off the boards. Here's a chance, a two on one. Quick feed to Sanderson. Here's a shot. Backhander. Penguins cannot give up another one here. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Great cross ice pass. They've got numbers. It's a two on one. Big save, Barrasso. Remember that. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Here's the pass. And that goes off the player in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Francis is out to Rex. Sean Burke with a nice save. Why is he getting pulled? Is he hurt? Sabre is making a goalie change here. More than half the period has Did he get hurt on that shot? It's two one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Takes the beat from the wing. And we've got a two on one. Oh, what a save with the glove. Here's a short pass to Orpik. Steven, season that big body. We gotta hit Ferraro every chance he can. Oh, look at that! Denis? He 
doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot nice is a tender from the high slot. Everybody wearing Carolina uh, gear in the crowd. Shit, now down by two. In the dying moments of this period, it's a two goal lead we're looking at with the score 3 1. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. And now he moves it to Gavin. Big time stop there. The Penguins have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Murphy. And now he tries to get it across to Trocek. Right up front. Oh, nice stick, man. Kunitz had a tap in. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Shot with the stop. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Murphy's got the puck in his own zone. Gets it out of his own end. Picks up the puck in his own end. One minute left. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Coughs it up on the play. Malkin, he's going to get a chance. Receives the pass. Oh, Castle missed. What an opportunity. Malkin shot is stopped. What an opportunity to Pittsburgh to get within one. Not able to score. Two point six here, enough for a shot. Takes a shot, makes the club stop. Not much on that. Hard sounds bringing the second period to an end. As we hit the second intermission, it's a three one hockey game. I still wonder what happened to Sean Burke. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm All right, Pittsburgh got a little bit of work to do here. Good goaltending, standing up. So I could look back on that one. The Whalers aren't sitting back, they're still coming hard. That could have been a penalty. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 3 1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Buck has dropped and we are back underway. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ferrara. That one's off the blocker. Yeah, in pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. And that one's broken up. Pumped away from danger. The Whalers not having it. Along the wing. Takes the feed they're not, center and moves forward. Not throwing the puck and away either. And that one's stolen at Making it earn your ice. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Gonchar. Now he slides it up to Recky. Sends it across. Oh, what is that, Recky? 
Looking for that cry size pass there. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Crowd's been into this one right from the get go. It's 3 1. Puck grab by Kunitz. Takes a blast, and that's broken up. Moves the puck. Takes the feed, and he's ridden off the puck. Whoa, that hurt from here. He didn't take anything out of that hit. He delivered it really as hard as he could. Goodness. Oh. The crossbar, and he slides it quickly to Orpik. Now a quick pass to Gavin. He's got a step on a breakaway. Oh, the puck. Oh, oh look at the hits. Guys are flying everywhere. Well, that didn't look very good. After that hit, he just stayed on the ice, not really moving very much. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Charge. Nelson Emerson. Calling, charging. You agree with the call? I do. And in particular, what this was in response to that first hit. hit. It doesn't really slow down. It becomes a dangerous play. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get oh, over the board. Gotta win that draw. And manages to clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Lemieux. Quick feed down low. Oh, guys, execution is off here. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides the puck down low. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Here's a no, chance to guys are on the wrong sides. Gotta get that out. Lemieux's got it along the wing. Moves it to Lemieux. No, nothing. That wasn't a good setup for Pittsburgh. Gets it out of his own end. Fresh set of skaters here as the man advantage continues to try to make something happen. Let's it fly. Way too much congestion blocks that. Makes his presence known on Whaler the is doing a good job blocking shots. Takes a shot. Doubles the puck up there with the chest. And now it's over to Kessel. Gets it over to Malkin. Grips it and rips it. Makes the save. He's going to stop those all day. Penguin's not really able to penetrate the net here. Here in the back half of this period, been a pretty good offensive display. Nine minutes at least left. One side, 3 1 is where we sit. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stop not even that face off shot will work. To talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Pittsburgh's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Francis wins it in the offensive zone. Just slide to the net. Quick pass to Francis. Under siege, trying to get it out of their zone. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Move to the middle. And it's a quick pass to Coffee. Unloads one, and that's blocked. That's the blocked. Fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides. Good penalty kill for straight. the Wheelers. That's a bad time for a penalty, but they're still up in this third period. The penalty killers do a nice job for them. Pittsburgh's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Danny's got it in the defensive zone, and that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Moves the puck behind the net. Knocked away. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Shot on net, and that one's turned away. Lemieux's lugging the puck. Stays with it. Takes the feed. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And that one's broken up. And they send it right back oh. to him. Carries it across the line. Defensive play. Grabs the puck. Tosses it on to Sanderson. And he slides it quickly to Castles. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Pittsburgh looks like they're going to run out of time here. Not really testing the Whalers too much here. Whalers kind of trying to throw the body around here. Boom. Stepping right up. Kevin Steve. Return to the game. Just got word from the PR department. He's out for the night. All right, thanks very much for the update, Mr. Ferraro, and we'll see 
how things are impacted here with the line juggling going forward. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. The arms up. There's the whistle. And boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. You call that a hatchet job at that slash? I call that chopping broccoli right there. <laughs> Very good reference. Another chance here on the man advantage. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Pittsburgh's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot and manages to clear the zone. Quick feed to Kessel. Moves the puck along the half wall. Puts it on net, just wide. The Penguins have had every bit the amount of chances their opponents have, but here late in the third, they can only ruin what's gone wrong. Through center along the wing. Toss it up at center. Hammers the shot, comes up with a good save. Offensive struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Stopped by the goaltender. The turnover! Here they come! Denied by the goaltender. I like this stop here. He makes the save, he looks at control, and the rebound's 30 to 40 feet away. Come on, you're letting these guys tic tac toe on your power play? Quick feed to Crosby. Man, this is some hard defense here these guys are playing. Not giving anything up here. Who's their coach fucking dog and dog and clean? Pussy. Nothing. He's got to work hard to find the puck through all the bodies. No, right hard for goal. He's not going to give anything up. Penguin's going to fall to 500 here. Only 5-5 five and five to start the year. Too late now, but I should have came with a different strategy and just shot the puck, shot the puck, get rebounds. Because they're not letting any of that hey doodle doodle shit go. Should have just shot it, get rebound, shot it, get rebound. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Trying to dump it out and still can't clear the zone. Man, this is frustrating. You're stuck in the zone. Frustrating game. Pittsburgh's gonna play the puck from I could feel the, the lack of speed the second I joined the game too. Like I'm like, whoa, these guys don't have speed. Crosby's got a it's a back to back. And manages to clear the zone. No execution. Pittsburgh Good game for the Whalers. Penguins got nothing. Whalers did a good job keeping them shut down. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There it is, final Whalers win one. They block tons of shots too.
Um, I'm supposed to golf that day. Period. But uh, what do you have planned? Dude, I sent them one like right after. <laughs> Millen with a good game. I don't know what happened to Burke. Gavin. Okay, next. New York. Oh, Arizona still looking for their first win. Not tonight. Kovalev with a natural hat trick ends their dreams. Look at this third period. Arizona was up 2 nothing going in the third, and they lose 5-2. 2 nothing. Nashville. Shout-out over... Pekka Rennie's got a couple shout-outs already. A lot of these teams are off to slow starts. First month of the season. The Oilers get the shutout. Bill Ranford, too. Gretzky gets a goal. Alright, let's move to Vancouver. Canucks and Quebec. Quebec, actually the only team to beat Vancouver so far this year. But we're going to sim through this. Quebec bringing lots of shots to the Canucks. But Brock Besser buries it right in front of the net. Let's keep it going. Canucks definitely owe these guys a win. After the way they won that game too, scoring late after Canucks scored two goals to tie it. Dramatic third period. Maybe I'll join you in here. Oh, Patterson makes it two nothing. All right, let's join the fun. All right, we got a 2 nothing lead against Quebec, the team that beat us the only time this season. So we owe these guys one. Let's try to get some goals after that Pittsburgh game it was kind of depressing to play. <laughs> when you get shut down like that, oh man. Got a 2 nothing lead, so let's not make mistakes and get too aggressive. Let's just fire it on net and see where that takes us. I just hope he doesn't freeze it every two minutes. Play a different game than we did with the Penguins. and Let's see if we can shoot the puck more because we got the lead here. So 
no need to be they fancy with one timers all the time. Oh, Jobo missing that hit. Exposing the goalie there. Burra gonna use that speed. Look at that. Oh, he got right around Duchesne. Took him to the outside. Skate, skate, skate. Here's an odd man rush. Denied by the goaltender. Didn't think he'd get the pass through there, so I didn't bother. Although, McGinley might have had a shot at a one timer. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Moussa to Goulet. Oh, reads it perfectly. Here's a chance. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Gets in front of it. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Jostled off the puck. Knocked away. Stasty swooping in on the attack. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Gives them nothing in front. I like the goalie Castle position bringing it out. Up the big bird. Oh, walks right chance. into that hit. Now a quick pass to Malone. Here they are on the attack. There's Nolan. Here's the pass. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick pass to Nolan. Nolan's got the puck. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Trying to get the puck away from the inferno here. Oh. And it goes in. It just seemed like the puck was not going to leave the zone there. It was just glued to the Nordique stick. Yeah, keeping up that the Canucks fourth line out there forever. And eventually they score, breaking the shutout. It's a one goal game. Gets it right back. Putting the Canucks back up by two. Some guys like to shoot, some guys like to deep. You can shoot the puck like Jovo with a nice pass and carry up the puck. Vancouver's goal now puts them up by two. It's kind of unconventional how they got to this point, though, here. Little scrambling. I'm not so sure they're super happy with the way that they've played. But as we near the midpoint in the period, they've got a pair up on the board that the other guys don't. Quick feed to LeFay. Sends the pass down low. Broughton sliding the puck behind the net. And there's the save. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. And a smart heads up read to come up with the puck. Vancouver's grabbed a hold of the puck. Picked up along the boards by LaFave. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And he makes the save. Puck picked up by Bure. Here's a short pass to Sadine. Drifts it and rips it. Oh, what a stop. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he gets the puck right back. Along the half wall with the puck. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves it quickly over to Bure. Vancouver's got it along the wall. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. 
Oh, Jovo. And Dean comes right at him. McGilney, he's gone. Oh, huge poke check. Wow, look at that play. Goulet almost put one in. Getting close to the end of the game. Here in the late goings of the period, Vancouver's got a 3-1 lead. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Great save by the goaltender. Just real smart positioning on that one. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Denies him on the slapper. Vancouver's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a howitzer at the net. Denies him. He got all of it. Quick pass to Kroger. Tries to get it over to Clark. Sends it over and rings the iron. And now he moves it quickly to Clark. That goes wide. Trying to clear. Cross the blue line and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. Centering pass, deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Vancouver's on the attack. Pick a bird. Oh. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Denies him on the play. Steps into all that. Bertuzzi runs a guy over as he goes to the bench and looks back. That's gangster. Oh, look at that. All right. With an open net, you know he's going to hit it. Oh, and he misses. Of course, as I say it. But he's got it back. There we go. <laughs> Burray makes sure to bury that. He wants that rocket, Richard. He's definitely one of the favorites. I don't know what number of goal that was for him. I know Ferrov's got 10. But he's got 8 now. So he's right there. So early in the season, a bunch of them are still bunched up. But all those empty netters count. Because at the end of the year, it could win you the, the rocket. And the Canucks are going to avenge that loss to the Nordiques about a week ago at Rogers Arena. Longo with a good game, 33 saves. We got a Red Wings game coming up. First, let's get through these two. Blackhawks, big win over Winnipeg. Tay's a good game. Ooh, 
Hosa probably out about a week. Shifley hurt too, two weeks. Well, a couple injuries coming out of that game. Let's see how the Flames match up against Ovechkin. They pull it off. Let's see how the goaltenders did here. 34 saves for Kiprasov. Good game. Flurry with the winning goal. Alright, so now we got Detroit. Last game of the day. 5 and 1. LA. Don't want to play the whole game, so we're just going to sim through it. Already played a couple of periods today. This is a. LA is definitely a threat to end their streak. There you go. Taylor is on the board. Because they're, they're rocking 5 and 1 right now. I think the Red Wings are 10 and 0 now. Oh, how ties it right at the end. That's a big goal. Let's keep it going. Maybe I'll jump in the third here. Stevie Y. Larry Murphy. Nichols. Murphy's goal from center ice? Oh, Datsuk makes it 4-2. Four three now. You know what? Let's play the whole period. I was gonna maybe join in halfway through, but now it's a one goal game, so I'll go for it. I love this white Gretzky jersey, the LA one. It's probably my favorite Gretzky jersey. The white Edmonton one's pretty good too. Nice play by Fedorov to set it up to Eiserman who got robbed. Rebound came right out to Murphy who sniped it top corner to restore the two goal lead for the Red Wings. He's got to go pick up a stick. Kind of gives Blake the business. I see. Uh oh, a little overzealous. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. 
<laughs> Look at that. Play to perfection, that 2 on 1. Who got it? Nichols or Taylor? That was a nice goal. He put that shot exactly where you're supposed to put it. And I thought Lichstrom played it pretty good. He's right in the middle, had to stick out. No, very. Shoots it right away, right along the light ice too. So Sacha cannot get it at all. Los Angeles might be setting us up for a pretty fun finish down the stretch here, Ray. Uh, once the pressure gets on, everything becomes unpredictable. Only trailing by one, they can't take their foot off the gas. Scored shorthanded by number 18. Just slide to the net. Los Angeles will try to break out here shorthanded. Los Angeles gains the zone. Post it away to keep the pressure on. With the stop. Detroit's got it from the back of their own cage. Oh, suicide pass. Brown is crunched nicely by Larson. Simmer, he's hit by Larson. Cut her off. I'm working on Dowdy. Pops up. Shoot. Scores! The NHL's leading goal scorer strikes again on the power play. And the Red Wings are back up by two. He swept this one up over the goalie's glove. The room was I don't know if Reed Larson's going to get an assist, but he should for the work he did in his own zone. Right before this win. And what a shot by Fedorov. 11th of the year. Still lots of time left in the period. The Red Wings have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. By number 91. Takes it deep inside the offensive zone. Mark is hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Great defensive effort with the strip. And now he moves it to Carter. Reads it perfectly. Look out. Here's a chance. The Red Wings continue to have solid positioning, intercepting pucks, keeping the game close because there is no room. And he slides it quickly to Howe. How? They've got numbers. Cut her off. Inside the zone, takes the cross ice pass. Quick feed to Robotai. Pushes it across to Howell. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Soderstrom's tendency is to shoot the puck. This time he overhandles it and loses it. Makes the save. And now he tries to get it across to Kopitar. This game's not over. LA's still there. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Los Angeles on the attack. And the lane's blocked up blocking that. Oh, look at that defense nice by Lidstrom. For Tisov was I don't know, but it was an amazing play. Detroit getting a full of the West Coast the next few games. The Kings win it. Moves it quickly over to Mitchell. Cronwall. Detroit's got the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it to Watch Gretzky. out, Gretzky. He gets hit from behind by Cronwall. Gretzky's got it in the corner. And nice play. Cronwall cuts that right off. Franzen's got the puck along the wing. And Franzen shoots it into the crowd. Someone in the crowd as the puck hits out of play. While he's got two, you think he can get three? He's never had that in the game before. Is dropped and we are back underway. Moves the puck along the half wall. Los Angeles looks to move the puck from their own end. Two goals in the bag already. He's got the puck again, showing some great tackers. Outstanding skill as he's got the puck. He won't give it up. Great timing to come up with the interception. Mitchell's going to play it against the half wall. Quick pass to Mitchell. Just slide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Brown's got it along the boards. Puck knocked loose after that hit. A little dipsy doodle and he loses oh, possession of the puck. Oh, he looked like he was in a good spot there. He bobbled the puck. Now he's got to find it again as he loses possession. Great hit on the play. Fires 
it into the offensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside. Is oh, it's going to be an ice. Icing his calls, stopping the play dead. Detroit's not taking their foot off the pedal. They've been aggressive this entire period, and they're controlling the play and have the lead. Here in the later stages of this period. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he passes up to Shanahan. And he slides it quickly to Toffoli. Fired into the offensive zone, and they'll make some changes. Quick feed to Abel. Here's a short pass to Sunderstrom. Here's a chance. Throws it on goal. Comes up with the stop. Big hit. <laughs> Carter goes over top of Sacha. I believe he's a leading scorer in the league. We haven't checked yet. Let's see if I can try to get him out there for an empty netter. Really? You guys should be ashamed of yourself. Better off. Go, Center go, go, off, skate. Looking to make something <laughs> on the Not going to be able to shoot it. Great defensive stick work on the play. Pushes it across to Robitaille. Uh oh. Here's a two on oh. Oh, Great save. save. Oh, yeah, James. He makes an excellent stop here. Stops out this one on one attempt. Ah. Oh. Takes the puck at the point. He scores. He completes the hat. That's all good. Murphy gets the hat trick. Fedorov gets an assist. The defenseman, third goal of the night, puts it into the empty net. Oh, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Tough guy? Ah, uh, they're gonna give him a penalty. Larson was challenging Carter after that huge hit. He wouldn't go. Another penalty. Okay, we'll skip through this. It's from getting a call. Delay a game, my favorite penalty. Take one almost every game. <laughs> Better off all smiles. He gets his 11th goal of the year. The Red Wings win their 11th straight to start this season on fire. Larry Murphy with the hat trick.
Got four points too. Kings played pretty good too. back. Ekman Larson back for Arizona too. Arizona still looking for their first win. Cole live at the hat trick too. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> 